This is Deb from businessbuildingshortcuts.com and in this video we're going to look at setting up an autoresponder using Kickstart Cart which is a branded version of one shopping cart. We recommend this uh, Kickstart Cart as an integrated autoresponder, shopping cart, and affiliate manager and you can find sign up links on the resources for you page at businessbuildingshortcuts.com Okay, what you do after you get your account is to go ahead and enter your username and password, which I'm going to do, and then you would click Login Now, and um, I'll show you where we go as soon as I'm done with that. After you click on um, in entering your Kickstart Cart subscription, you'll be taken to a page where you'll see your account summary, you'll see your name, um, and you have all of these options up above. Uh, Kickstart Card is a very powerful integrated uh, client management system and I know you're going to love it when you join. So what you want to do, and of course I blacked out my information, what you would want to do is go to My Autoresponders and click that. When you've clicked on My Autoresponders it will take you a to a page where you can manage your autoresponders. What we're going to do is to create a new autoresponder and down below what you'll notice is that you have a list of all of the autoresponders you have already created. Of course if this is your first one uh, there won't be anything else there. So what you want to do is click on Create New Autoresponder. After you have clicked Create New Autoresponder you'll be taken to a page like this one where you'll be able to enter the settings for your new autoresponder. I have already typed in the autoresponder name I want to use, which is by domain, because I want to be able to track customers and prospects who come to me from a PDF file that I've created um, about how to buy a domain using GoDaddy. So I would type in that domain name, and you want to keep that um, autoresponder name, I mean, you want to keep it pretty short. I do not want to choose direct subscribe enabled. I don't want people to be able to subscribe to this particular autoresponder by um, email. From email address um, is the one that we always use which is info at businessbuildingshortcuts.com. You would want to create one that's related to your domain name, your main domain name, and then from name, who do we want um, the messages to come from that they will be receiving um, in their autoresponder. And we are sending ours so that they say from Deb and Minder. Right now for this one I am not using opt-in verification. Many people advise using that. That is the double opt-in method where when people opt in using this autoresponder they would then have to go to their email and click on a verification link. If you have this turned off um, then once they enter their opt-in information and click subscribe me or whatever your text reads um, they would be subscribed to that email. Kickstart card is good because they give unsubscribe links in every email so it makes it very easy for people to opt out um, and not feel like you're spamming them. After you've entered all that data simply scroll down and click the Save button. After you have clicked Save you'll be taken to a page where you will actually create your first autoresponder message. So you would be able to tell how many days delay and it's recommended that when people actually opt in that they get a welcome message from you. And we're going to, so we're going to set this at zero days delay. If you set it at one day delay they would receive the message after one day um, after they subscribe. And the thing to remember about Kickstart Cart or One Shopping Cart is that your days delay always runs from the date the person subscribed. So if you set a message for day one and another message for day three and a third message for day five, those would be all um, days from the day of subscription. So they would receive those messages on day one, day three, and day five. So alternate destination, meaning do you want to send it anywhere else? And you really don't. You want to leave that one blank for this. Subject line. Um, so we want to send them an email welcoming them to Business Building Shortcuts. And for right now, in the text message body, I'm just going to write text sample because uh, I don't want to mess with writing this whole thing right now. I just want to set up the autoresponder. So you scroll on down 
and it's going to give you your signature. Now this is the CAN spam signature and you have to actually have information uh, down here that gives a way people can contact you. What I want to do is go back up here. I wanted to show you just a little bit about this. When you're doing your email, you can have them enter um, pieces of information. So you can say, dear, and then you could say first name. And what that will do is it will take the first name of the people who subscribed to your autoresponder and enter it into the message body so that it has a very personalized feel for your uh, recipient of your email. All of these are options that you can enter into your email. But for right now, dear first name is sufficient. Now what we want to do is to save this message. So I'm going to click Save. When you click Save, you'll be taken to this page where it'll show you all of your autoresponders again. And now you should see your new autoresponder listed right there. So that is all there is to creating a new autoresponder. Now what you need to do is to create an opt-in box, which would be the way people would subscribe to this new autoresponder you have created. And we'll do that in another video. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, you can find more videos like this at www.businessbuildingshortcuts.com. Uh, we hope to see you there. Have a great day.